challenges in our lives where we struggle with our identity, um, coming to terms with uh, a noble heritage, and maybe sometimes wondering, where is that my family? How, how am I living up to a, a noble life with me and my brothers and sisters and my cousins? all have a struggle that may be insurmountable as a glacier, that may be as uncertain as going under a glacier. You know, um, my grandparents would say, I just can't chop wood no more. I can't go out there and go on the boat and pull in the fist. Oh, we've spent a long time doing all those things as young people. There's many things I cannot do today. I can't go out there to the river and pick out that ice and drag it all the way up and melt it for our drinking water. I can't do that as old people. But the Nakato. He keep us here for a reason. He keep us here. We live long time, and we know that the Nakato, he keep us here in order that we pass on anything we know to you. If someone approaches us and we have a good question, we know that people struggle. We live through that. We live long time. The Nakato he give us our knowledge. We must pass that on. That's why he keep us here. That's why he protect us. That's why we have beautiful family. And that's how my grandmother would talk to us. And I think about how incredible that is that then it was two old women getting on that boat, going down there underneath the glacier. You know, um, people all over have, um, you know, we recognize things in other cultures. We do, and their languages become known for something. Maybe it changes over time. Some people might call French the language of love. Some people might call German the language of science. 